Hello, children. I'm going to read you another story today about our friend Bear. You know, he's one of my favorite storybook characters. And here he is with all of his friends from the forest. Let's find out what this book is about. It's written by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman, and it's called Bear Wants More. Let's find out. Bear Wants More. Look at Sleepy Bear yawning. See how he's yawning. Oh, he must have just woken up from the winter. When springtime comes in his warm winter den, a bear wakes up very hungry and thin. Do you hear those rhyming words? Let's try to find rhyming words in the book today. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws fresh shoots from the ground. Is he digging here? Looking for something tasty to eat? He nibbles on his lawn till the last blade is gone. But the bear wants more. Mouse scampers by with his acorn pail. Come along, Mouse squeaks, to Strawberry Vale. There's a little mouse. Here they go. Here's Mouse, right on the back of Bear. So Mouse hops up onto Bear's big back. They tramp through the woods for a fresh fruit snack. Oh my goodness. They bear the berries grow sweet and they eat, eat, eat. But the bear wants more. The noon sun glows when a long hops hair. Good day, friend mouse. How do, friend bear? I'm hungry, roars Bear. Hare says, follow me. There's a fresh clover patch by the cottonwood tree. They nibble on their lunch with a crunch, crunch, crunch. But the bear wants more. Badger shuffles by with his new fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast at the old fishing hole. Let's see, everyone's fishing here. Badger's got a fishing pole. Mouse has a fishing pole. Hare looks like he's just putting his feet in the water. What's Bear gonna do? They head to the pond and they sit by the shore. Bear catches fish. Oh my, but he still wants more. They look like they're having so much fun getting splashed and wet. <clears throat> Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den, wait gopher and mole with raven and wren. Gopher and Mole, Raven and Wren. Oh, they're such good friends. They bake honey cakes. They decorate the lair. The lair is what uh, is Bear's den. That's called the lair. They bake honey cakes. They decorate the lair. It's a springtime party for their good friend, Bear. Oh my, they're decorating with flowers. They made flower garland. They're baking cookies over a fire. What good friends. Bear rubs his tummy. He smells something yummy. 
and he still wants more. Here are friends. Mouse still has his little acorn tail. <clears throat> Bear sniffs and he snuffles as a sweet breeze blows. He romps to his home. He follows his nose. His friends yell, surprise, when he gets to his den. But Bear is so big. that he can't fit in. Let's see what happens. He got his head in. What about the rest of his body? Bear wails, what luck? I am stuck, stuck, stuck in my own front door. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh my. Mouse squeaks, poor bear, he is wedged too tight. Hair tugs, raven pushes with all of their might. Badger gets a stick and he pries so hard. That bear pops out and he lands in his yard. Since bear is so wide, they party outside. And he still wants more. Bear opens presents. He gobbles honey cakes. He eats so much that his big tummy aches. Oh my, are they not the cutest things? He's got a little daisy crown and so does Mouse. Look at Wren and Raven here sharing a cookie. Bear's got a lot of cookies. He's eating and eating and eating and eating. And here, everybody else has nice sweet treats as well to eat. What good friends having a wonderful wake up from hibernation party. Bears wake up from hibernation very hungry, and this bear is not different. He was very, very hungry. <clears throat> bear opens presents. He gobbles honey cakes. He eats so much that his big tummy aches. He snuggles in the grass, and he snores big snores. He is full, 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 but his friends want more. What a cute springtime story. I think they might have to make some more treats for themselves while Bear takes his nap. I hope you enjoyed that story. Let's come back again for more stories about Bear and Bear's friends. Bye.